What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the base64 two-string function in the conversion functions section. So base64 two-string converts a base64 ASCII output into back into a string. So you can pass in a, a, a base64 uh, ASCII string and that will convert it into a regular string or what that ASCII kind of decodes into. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, I've got a manual trigger flow with a couple of inputs, a number and a uh, text input. I'm going to ignore the text input for now, we're just going to use the number input. Then in my first compose action, I have a base64 uh, conversion. So this converts whatever we put into the text, um, triggering this uh, manual trigger flow. Uh, whatever we put into the text, we're going to convert that to base64. And then in the second one, we are going to use the base64 to string expression. So if I click into compose and click expression, scroll down until we get to conversion functions. Then we're going to down until we get base 64 to string and then the only parameter has a value it says it returns a string represented of a base 64 encoded string so it's basically taking that base 64 encoded string and converting that into what that string should be so if we click into that and what we're going to do is we're going to get the output from the first compose action so that first compose action is converting whatever string we put into the text box into base64 and this one is going to take it from base64 back into a string. So what we should see is whatever text we put into the first box gets converted in the second in the first compose action and then in the second compose action it converts that back into a string and that's how it kind of looks. So click OK and we'll test this out. So click test, click I'll perform the action and in the text we'll put hello there. So we'll run the flow Click done. Flow ran successfully, that's all good. So you can see that the input that we got from the text box is hello there. The compose action here has this base64 string, so that is what hello there is represented in a base64 encoded format. So this is the ASCII characters for it. And then in the second compose action, it changes it back from this input back into hello there, the original one we had at the start. So there we go. So this could be useful if you're uh, interacting with any programs that are already uh, in encode things in base64 and you need to do a conversion and put that back into a regular string that you may need to then uh, put somewhere else. So I think this could be really useful, but I'd always like to know what you guys think. What do you use this for now, uh, or what might you use this for in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. If you could like and share this video, it's always much appreciated. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.